field for the women's 400 medley. Forrester, the fastest qualifier in four from the champion, the defending champion, world record holder, Summer McIntosh in five. Four twenty-five eight seven for McIntosh. individual medley final for the women there are two americans there in one and two that's walsh and grimes two british swimmers in six and eight colbert and shanahan uh, but the person they're all watching here is summer mcintosh in lane five the fastest qualifier forrester in four yeah forrester having a great world championships almost a pb this morning on the last day of competition but they're not going to be able to match the firepower from summer mcintosh Turret fly world champion, uh, defending world champion, in fact, is McIntosh. So you know, she likes to get out fast, but it's so comfortable. She just floats her legs, stays high in the water, breathes two out of every three strokes, so just gets in her rhythm, and look how far she's separated from the field. The Americans up there, also going out strong, is Katie Grimes. She's a silver medalist from Budapest 12 months ago, so no doubt she'll want to be back on that podium again. As they turn at the 100 there, McIntosh in front from Grimes and Walsh. There's not too much in it as they move into the backstroke leg here. And that lead has been cut right back by Katie Grimes. It's still McIntosh in front from Grimes, Walsh. Fourth would be Forrester. And uh, after that, in lane number six, it'll be Colbert. Yeah, Grimes re looking really good in this backstroke leg. She was out in the heats two seconds faster than McIntosh through the first 200 metres, but the difference came on the breaststroke. So McIntosh will know that there is a threat out there, that there is somebody that can push out hard and go out fast through the first two strokes, but she's really got it all. She's a world-class breaststroker in her own right. There she is in the middle of screen, just moving onto that right side of the lane a little bit as they approach the halfway mark. And they also need to know, they need to be careful with their back to breast turn, make sure that it's perfectly legal and finishing on their back because the officials have been taking a very close look at that at these championships. So McIntosh leads at the halfway point, just over a second in front of Grimes and Walsh has dropped back a little, Forrester moving into third, but um, this is an impressive performance by McIntosh, still just 16 years of age, she turns 17 next month. She's been pretty low key here at the World Championships, but. Having said that, she's already taken gold in the 200 butterfly. So if she wins this, she'll go home as a 16-year-old once again with two gold medals at the World Championships. What a performance, as she did at Budapest last year. As they turn at the 250, McIntosh with this lead of uh, around two and a half seconds now over Grimes, Walsh, Forrester's in the mix. Yeah, isn't she... Impressive to watch. Look at that breaststroke. She's pulling away from the field. Grimes there. This is her weakest leg. She'll be tough on that freestyle, but Forrest is just coming into the picture as well. It's been a big breaststroke split for the Australian as McIntosh. She's ahead of her championship record, uh, ahead of the championship record, which in fact belongs to Katinka Hoshu. That's uh, from back in 2017. She's a couple of seconds off that world mark. No, in fact, big second 50 of breaststroke. She's only half a second over her own world record split. And in that race, she came home in one minute point five. So I wouldn't rule out McIntosh yet. Forrester holding down second. Now Grimes is trying to uh, overtake her. Walsh isn't too far away. It's going to be a good battle for silver and bronze. But it's a case of put the glasses down with this precocious talent from Canada. The 16-year-old Summer McIntosh, our defending champion. And she's bringing it home now. So McIntosh, well inside the championship record. She holds the world record. 
Is that under threat here? We'll soon find out. She's got 25 to swim. Great battle here for Silver. It's Grimes who goes up over the top of Forrester. Walsh will miss a medal. And it's going to be another gold medal going the way of Summer McIntosh. What a star she is. Fantastic performance. A championship record there for McIntosh. Silver goes the way of Grimes and bronze to Forrester in the 400 individual medley. The winning time here in that championship record, 4.27.11. What a performance. What a superstar. Canada, another gold medal. That's number two to Summer McIntosh. Championship record time as well. And her second fastest performance of her very young career. Well, the crowd really enjoyed that one. Grimes and Forrester, the miners. Personal best there for Katie Grimes. Another teenager, only 17. But all eyes were on this woman. Summer McIntosh, what a way she's responded from day one to day eight. She's gotten better, she's improved, she's learned, she's had new experiences, and she'll come out of these World Championships a far better swimmer. Gold in the 200 fly, gold again tonight with a really fast breaststroke split there. We saw how important the breaststroke leg is after watching Marchand's 400 IM and McIntosh, she may have found some inspiration from that performance. If she's ahead at the 300, if she's ahead of her world record line at the 300, well, how many times will that one get broken over the course of her career? Big winning margin there, over four seconds. And a championship record in the process. What a swim. 4.27.11 for McIntosh. The silver medal to Katie Grimes, two young swimmers of the future. Forrester.